Underway championship semifinal, 133 pounds. White singlet, red stripe, red ankle band. That's Bo Bassett, Bishop McCord High School. He's taking on Angelo Rini. Rini with the three point takedown. Black and blue uniform for Rini. Green ankle bands. coming into the weekend ranked number 17 in the country. NCAA qualifier a year ago going one and two at the NCAA championships. Bassett's away for the escape, closed it down to 3-1. Attack from the outside. Bassett catches it. Reedy working a two on one. Comes back to it again. Bassett. Curves out, goes right back to that collar. Reedy keeps getting to the two on one. Now he drops to a head inside single. Pull single, Bassett, head on the outside. Cuts across, picks up the takedown. He's into the lead, 4-3. Mention Rini being ranked number 17 in the country NCAA. Bassett, number one in the nation, Flow Wrestling's high school rankings at 132 pounds. Saw Marcus Blaze over on that too. Came into the weekend ranked number three in the country in high school. Just knocked off NCAA number one, Matt Ramos. Bassett trying to pick up a rank win of his own here at 133 pounds. Is the 4 3 advantage trying to chip away at the riding time? That clock's going to start going in his favor. About 40 seconds remaining in period number one. Bassett with the 4 3 lead and accruing riding time advantage. Rini up to his feet, Bassett. Dropping down to the leg, Rini secures the reversal on the boundary line. 
Greeny being savvy, keeping his hand in, burning the clock, down to 13 seconds remaining. 5-4 for Rini. Stall warning against Rini. And Bassin not able to break free. 5-4 Rini in the period number two. Bassett into the defensive position to start the second. Bassett working on a double leg on the boundary, trying to secure the reversal, gets the reversal, and they'll go out of bounds. Bassett into the lead, 6-5. Riding time in Rini's favor at 28 seconds. Bassett double thigh pry. Looking for something to open up as he works from the left side back to the right, over to the left. Has eliminated Rini's riding time advantage and now has it working in his favor as we cross the one minute mark in period number two. Stall warning against Rini, one for Bassett. Bassett relentless on the left arm, little head lever work down the left wrist. Trying to pull that back into a bar in the left side. Rini able to catch his base inside stand up. Rini switching on the boundary line. Bassett tried to take him out of bounds, lost the chin, and the escape for Rini. 13 seconds remaining. Period number two. 44 seconds, the riding time advantage for Bassett. Rini into the defensive position to start the third. Keep an eye on that riding time clock as it sits at 44 seconds in favor of Bassett. Rini needs to get away quickly. Rini up to his feet, peels the hands of Bassett, is away for the escape to tie it, but the riding time clock sits at 109 in Bassett's favor. Start, Bassett started with a head outside single. Rini turned it head inside. Bassett trying to get to the far ankle. Threatens a cradle on the near side, gets to the hip. Deep whizzer there for Rini tries to roll underneath. Bassett just smothers him for the takedown. Extends the lead to 10-7. And riding time. Pushing in his favor. Almost locked in. Probably about 10 seconds away from those clocks passing each other and officially locking that point on the board for Bassett.
That riding time point is locked up. Essentially an 11-7 lead for Bassett. Like we're going to get back-to-back -back weight class with high schoolers in the finals. Marcus Blaze at 125. Bo Bassett trying to be the second here at 133. Bassett chopping on the left side. He'll get the ride out here in the third period. Riding time point on the board. 11-7 decision for Bo Bassett. Bishop McCourt High School, he's into the championship final. Underway championship finals. 133 pounds, Bo Bassett. Sophomore out of Bishop McCourt High School in the red ankle band. He's taking on Vincent Santaniello for Pittsburgh in the green. Santaniello, a New Jersey State champion out of Brick Memorial High School. 131 and 10 in his high school career. He's gonna be one for stalling on the boundary line for backing. Along with that state title for Brick Memorial, he's their first four-time New Jersey state medalist. And there's a pancake by Santaniello off of Bassett shot on the boundary line. Takedown secured. Bassett up on his feet, working hands. Santaniello gonna try to trip on the left side and finally concedes the escape. Again, right back to it. Bassett on the leg attack. Right side underhook, pancake for Santaniello. Three point takedown, two point near fall. He extends a lead to 8-1. And bass it away for the escape. Close it down to an 8-2 lead for Santaniello. Santaniello trying to circle off the boundary line. Bassett continuing with that forward pressure. Wisely stays up on his feet, and but it's Bassett that picks up the stall warning for just pushing. Not sure I agree there. I mean, if you leg attack on the boundary line, there's no possibility of getting a backing call because the guy's allowed to sprawl away from the attack. Just pushing on it. You got to find some middle ground there. You need to get close to the guy, get your hands on him to attack. This time he's going to get the action call because he took a shot on the boundary line. It's really a no-win situation whenever you're going to give up a stall call for just pushing there.
8-2 the lead for Santaniello into the second. Bassett wins the toss. He's going underneath right away. 34 seconds riding time accumulated for the redshirt freshman Panther. It's going to be a caution against Santaniello. I believe his head position was drawing the warning. Pass it right back up to his feet, working on the hands. Looks for a switch. Santaniello pulls him out of bounds or out. Riding time creeping up towards that one minute mark. 142 on the board in period number two. And wisely, the pick corner, Del Santaniello caught him. As Bassett was peeling on the hands, they didn't want Santaniello to pick up a stall warning. Riding time just over a minute. Santaniello, a big victory in the championship semifinals over freshman Nick Buzakis of Ohio State. Buzakis coming into the weekend, ranked number eight in the country. That was an 11-4 decision for Santaniello. That's a stall warning against Santaniello. One point on the board for Bassett. Bassett known for putting on a wilting pressure. It's impressive whenever you Think about what he does to high schoolers, but doing it here against guys at the Division I level. Just a relentless pace, gets to that single leg low on the ankle. Santaniello, head lift position for Bassett, splitting the legs. He's gonna try to go backhand on the, that's the right ankle of Santaniello. Captures both ankles, picks up the takedown of the boundary line. Short time remaining in period number two, just 11 seconds. Big point at stake here for Santaniello. And Bassett will get the ride out after the takedown. Close it down to 8-7, Santaniello's choice. He's going underneath. Still has 46 seconds riding time advantage. Bassett gonna get the optional start to start the third. Right away, walks out front. One to go, tricep, Santaniello trying to dig a left side hook in, creates a flurry, both guys kind of off balance throughout that sequence. Bassett, head inside single, head lift position. Santaniello draping over the top. Looks like he's at the waist, not the ankles. Bassett able to sit through, clears his ankles out. He's into the lead, 10-9. Bassett wisely keeping the left foot in. And they're out of bounds. 120 to go in the bout. Bassett looking over his corner, looking to make a decision whether he's gonna to look to ride for the win or cut Santaniello or look to secure a takedown. Switch attempt by Santaniello. He'll make the decision for Bassett. He gets the escape to make it 
Got both guys with stall calls. And there's the attack on the boundary line. Santaniello is looking to leg attack to come back in off the boundary. Bassett attacks right through it on the boundary line. Action call. Another knee pull single. Pass it with the clean finish. 13-10 up on the board. Twenty-five seconds remaining in the battle. Bassett with a 13-10 advantage. Bassett at one point trailed 8-1 in this match. Rallied back, put a hard pace on Santaniello. Really looked like that pace took a toll. And it's going to be Bassett picking up the victory. 13-10. He's a champion at 133 pounds.